Um, uh, John had mentioned that it's not complicated software, but it's co software is complicated, the installation is not so complicated. Um, so really it was uh, end of the last year that we introduced finally the decision that we would like to apply a PI system in production area in Teva Pharmaceuticals. And uh, so I tried to do everything alone because if, if uh, I can do it, uh, and later on maybe we needed, of course, uh, some engineering support from OSI Soft also, but um, at the beginning of all, with small data and the trials and uh, try to find a direction which is the best way for us with Pi, I think it's we have to do alone. Something about uh, the agenda, short some words about Teva, if somebody don't know Teva. Something about the challenges because of pharmaceutical has a lot of challenges. How was the mid buy system? It was mentioned shortly with, with John Ad, but I will tell you something more about. Um, some solution and application example, which was also impressive me and also I introduced today, and it's included uh, mostly around uh, visualization about the PI data link, the PI batch generator, of course, the batch information anal analytics, and the process book, something about the benefits, what is the future opportunities, and some conclusions. A picture about the Teva worldwide, we have 20 sites, uh, but it's, we are con concentrating to Hungary, we on Hungary we have two, uh, three sites, uh, I am working in in Debrecen site, also the fermentation, uh, the API production Debrecen and, and Shayobabon site, and Gödöldö has a sterile site in Hungary. So as I mentioned, the uh, challenge is uh, one of the important things is reg regulated industry as a pharmaceutical as it is. And uh, it was mentioned before many times, uh, uh, mentioned the electronic batch records, uh, paperless operation. I have to tell you that uh, it's not so easy, as it looks like in from this picture. So the, the master RCP operations, uh, the control RCP operations, warehouse handling, packaging, uh, everything, everything must be signed and must be approved uh, and signed by the own paper today. And it's very, very critical because we have to document everything. So even uh, the lack of flexibility, the stability is most important in ph pharmaceuticals, but today also uh, improve uh, industrial performance. It's a high ec uh, economic pressure on us. So the most uh, uh, challenge is for us, the paper and the paper uh, uh, operation without papers. The other very interesting situations and challenges, the data. And the picture that just as just drawing on the on the screen, you can find one of the fermentation unit, which is quite complicated uh, finally, and the fermentation cycle takes around uh, weeks or few weeks long, and we have to do some decision about the right quality directions. And the last one is most important for us because the challenges of the data. And it's true for us that it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So it's, it's important. So I, I learned it in my past that uh, it's better to archive and collect all the information because nobody knows when the data is requested by the engineers or the process. Meeting the PI system, it was some presentations uh, and I met Chanad uh, and also was uh, fitted uh, some slides, it was impressive me, and I told it this is what I need because from the beginning of point of view, uh, the finally if we can uh, uh, standardize the rules and the environment for the uh, cooperation uh, or the collaboration uh, sites uh, like uh, finance, the engineering, the R&D laboratories, the quality assurance, maintenance, and so on and so on. So it would be useful for us and we would like to take an order. So it was presented before also, the low level is the, the production level, the second one is most important to do an, an, an standardization for, for applying and using the data and speaking a common languages and maybe in the future we can support everything in the standard environment. An interesting example which is just uh, running with a third party and it's also important uh, how we can improve our processes 
And it was mentioned before, uh, you could see on the screens that uh, many complicated information belongs to one unit. Here uh, is also an important uh, procedure when we are applying the batch processes and uh, uh, process analytical technologies. Uh, where the sample data is going to the laboratory information. We have process analyzers, which is monitoring the process data. We have the, the normal technical or technological parameters, and we are applying the multivariate data analysis to know about the process more. Uh, the beginning one was to do the early forward detections, and later on also we would like to apply advanced control to, first of all, some suggestion for the operator, and maybe finally closing the loops. And of course, last but not least, to release, uh, real-time release the productions. So this, the middle point one is so critical for us because we are collecting the information and distributing for the other sites. So the pie is quite good fitting to these areas. This was also in my mind when we discussed in, in Hungary about the pie. About the pie system architecture. So as was mentioned, that uh, not too big system I had in Hungary now, uh, or has in Hungary now, but uh, basically the, the minimum four elements of the Pi system we have to use. Of course, the data source, which is part of the Pi elements. It's coming from the field. It can be from the DCS, from the PLC systems. can be a SCADA system. can be a third-party system, so, or can be from laboratories. We have to collect these informations. This is the interface node with the collectors of Pi interface nodes and uh, uh, transferring the data to the Pi data archive systems. And from that data archive systems, of course, some utility is needed for the client applications like visualization. It's like a Pi data link or process book uh, to displaying the information. So this is the minimum what we need. How it looks like in our environment it many times was a question also, I, I heard it uh, in the before presentations, that also we have a process information here and how the data is collected and transferred to the, the, the Pi system. This was the most critical installation point in my uh, environment because we have different kind of sources. So really with the protocol, this was different one. So I, everything uh, based on OPC communications. This is the reason that I have a capital OPC server here which has a many drivers. It has a drivers for PLC system, it has a driver for SCADA system, so everything. But uh, the Pi system point of view, everything is, uh, looks like an OPC server connections. So I covered all the, um, the different system communication protocols with OPC server with Capwell. Also we can do it with Pi systems because I read it and I heard it that more than 400, 450 drivers is there, but it was in my hand so I had to apply this one. The data reliability, it also was a question before. In a Pi interface node, we has also high availability. Later on, you will see how it's installed in the uh, physical environment. But here, it's Pi has a buffering system. It means if the connection between the Pi interface node and, and the data archive system is broken because of the network problems, because of the maintenance of the, uh, or upgrading just uh, upgrading the Pi, uh, data archive system, the system automatically buffering here the information, and when the connection is also rebuilt, it automatically transfer the information to the Pi archive, so you don't lose any information. And of course, the Pi server has a normal system architecture, so Pi server, asset framework, and the batch management. Uh, as we mentioned before, so I have currently 2,000 tags for installations, two OPC interfaces, and the most important, uh, just because of the functionality, uh, the batch generator interface. How the physical environment looks like. So it was in the system configuration, if I had um, the interface station and the Pi server station and the client, client stations, uh, many different type of hardware I need to use it. I have a benefit because uh, in my environment, basically all the system is based on the virtual environment. So I created uh, the Pi server with virtual one, one of the stations for the interface nodes. And of course, because I would like to keep uh, everything in my hand and I would like to be successful applications, I installed also the client environment in the virtual machine. So I allowed the, uh, my colleagues to connect to these virtual, uh, to these uh, client stations, but uh, the interface is installed in a standard way, so nothing was missing from that one. At the beginning one, when I did the installation, some step is needed for 
how can I see some information because maybe it was not successful installation. So how can maybe bring the information, the first temperature measurement in the systems? Of course, later on the system management is important. The by system management tool, which is um, a plugin tools for the system, it's uh, used for the, the system administrator to maintain the system also and to do some basic configuration or later on the, the fine tuning or the optimization of the, uh, of the efficiency of the systems. So we, there is a many functions for here. There is one of them is a point builder function. So we selecting this one, we can manually uh, create the points. Of course, it's in a documented, well documented in uh, how we can and which parameters and which items meaning and how do we have to configure it. And finally, so I get the fermenters here and this is the information from one unit, I created it. But I have here, it's uh, around uh, such a unit like uh, 80. So it's not so easy to do it manually, 80 everything. So it's also very useful from the Pi system, the Excel adding function for configurations. How it looks like. So when you are installing the system, uh, it's a preliminary, you have to install also the, the Microsoft Office with Excel and uh, automatically when the installation is running, this adding function is uh, automatically configured for the Excel environment. So selecting the adding functions, I manually created one of the units importing it with many mas different masking, masking functions. So uh, I mask it, uh, mask only that functions. So I imported all the values. And now it's very easy with uh, uh, replacing the names because uh, mostly the naming convention in, 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 this, uh, in our environment, it's keeping some tools. So basically, for example, all the, the text is containing the unit name, uh, any other position and the functionality is the same one. So it's easy was replaced one unit name to the other one. And finally, with an export functions, I get also back the, uh, the Pi system, all the values there. So I did only one time, it was takes half an hour, but the other remaining was five minutes to export and import all the functions. Uh, uh, currently around 1,850 volumes is, is uh, collected by the system. Many uh, special functions also installed because of data link, because of pi builder functions. I don't know everything, the details, which was important for me, I learned it but we have time and also we have some engineering teams for that want to learn it and uh, to analyze it, what is the uh, useful function later and you will see how easy to use it. Much more important thing was because it was uh, mentioned it around 80 units we have and we are, it's a task for us to comparing batch by batch the information. How was the production in unit comparing the other one because it's, ferment, uh, it's a uh, uh, Fermentation process is this pharmaceutical one. So even the, the data is sampling the timing period, but we have to compare the batches. So how can support Pi to comparing the batch informations? Uh, it was a, a, the batch, gener batch generator function of the Pi. It's a really a useful thing. In the module, da module database, it was also mentioned many times before how I created one of the unit with aliases which, because these names are covering uh, the same function or same parameters on the, uh, on the similar units. So I don't have to know uh, really the tag names behind that one. When I want to compare with the R&D units in the production one with uh, the pH value and the airflow. So I have to use this uh, naming convention and, don't, uh, and the user don't have to know which uh, really talks behind that one. So it's much more easy to use it. Uh, how the batch generator is, uh, how to say configured in our systems. Uh, we have the basic unit uh, procedure for each unit. So the, the, the batch generator is supporting the, the, the unit uh, batch operations. So here is the fermentation, op sorry, here is the fermentation uh, operation of the unit procedures and the fermentation operations has some parameters which should be configured on the pi batch units, the active points is defining uh, when the batch is started and stopped. Some information about the batches, which is identifying the batch ID, the production ID, and uh, some procedure name. It can be a phase or some, some other information, which is very important. 
And the most important is the, to know when the batch was started and stopping. And of course, these parameters is helping us to also looking for the information, the batch ID is also important. When this configuration is ready, uh, we can look after the data or can search the data uh, in the process book applications, uh, like uh, the batch view uh, of the process book one. So just drag and drop these uh, icons to the process book surfaces to select, for example, the unit name, just automatically what kind of batch is running. Uh, it just selected only minus one day, but we can select 100 days, years, or so many times as, as span as you want to select for searching one. And after that, uh, we can select, it was mentioned before, the common one for the aliases for the units, but also possible to select dedicated uh, text which is not belongs to the production but we would like to synchronize to displaying the information together with batches. For example, the fermentation process and the, and the wastewater oxygen level can be compared but the wastewater oxygen level is not belongs to the batch processes. And after some clicking, really after some clicking, we, clicking, we, uh, mouse clicking, we, we just get this information. What's meaning here? So this is a batch gant and this is a batch trend. So on a batch grant, clearly can we see what is the just running batches, it's a green one. What was the last finished is the brown, and, uh, and the blue one is, which is already finished. And below the batch grant, we get the information about the batch processes. So I just selected the last fin uh, just finished batches, and it's with shaped, uh, shaped with, uh, on the screens, I can see this is the airflow, and this is the pH of that batches. It's to simplifying and understanding what, was, what is the current for you and what is the age of the fermentation, so between the relative age of, of uh, not really the um, accurate date and time of the volumes, but the batch time is, is there, so we can compare the batch by batch, and really the volumes. This screen is very simple one, it was only for presentation displaying it, but a lot of information can be displayed there. Can be there the unit name, can be there the batch ID, can be there a lot of things but it belongs to the process book functionality. So it's just an information. After five minutes, uh, the engineers who just had some problems with the process or had some questions because what was the pH differentiation between today and two months ago on the same productions, he can get it in, uh, this answer. Another example is an Excel. It's an Excel application which was developed uh, by us, it was specially for the R&D side. R&D is collecting the information, they want to know the numbers, but they are wanted to look after uh, about uh, because of the, the batch ID, and they want to know what really number was used in the productions. Uh, the other target was this one, to create a simple reporting function, uh, maybe through an Excel one, because if we are selecting the batch numbers, acquiring the, the batch informations, and the batch information containing the aliases, which is belongs to these units, because it, the unit name was selected here, um, based on the alias information, so we could create uh, the other sheet where the data are really collected by the system. This is the fermentation information, uh, also it's a function, it's mentioning finally in the data source table uh, sheets we get uh, the tag names. This is the real variables from the process. Also we are can collecting the simple sample data. It can be sampled by hourly, by every minute, or how you want to select it. And uh, uh, you will get the real uh, values for in, the, in the dedicated time. And finally, the report output is from Excel like this one. So if we go back and see these tables, I cannot understand what is in these tables because a lot of number is that one, but it's graphically representing the information with some limitations is if something is belong, uh, belo uh, between these two limits, the process is okay or some deviations because the volume is went out from these limitations. This also very fastly and very simple way it's coming out. As mentioned at the beginning one, everything is, would be useful in fermentation without paperless operation, but it's not so easy. It's not because of the paper. But uh, no, we can add this additional very simple information to the batch card 
which is just displaying, uh, do we have to do any uh, analysis on this situation or not? And the information is just enough because there is signing somebody and there is a, a data form and the data was uh, printed out. So because everything is on paper one, but not electronically record, electronic uh, uh, documentation, so we have to sign it. The other example about the power use. So as I used it, uh, the Pi system in our environment, it was really um, a possibility to less paperwork. We have to agree with uh, QA, we have to introduce a lot of things. It was mentioned, the validation, of course, uh, we are thinking about uh, the MES level integration, so of course uh, the, the paperless operation is, is the workflow, workflow instruction with uh, all the documentation, so it's not so, not only the paper is missing from the process, but it's a possibility because of PI can support me uh, this kind of information. Uh, it was mentioned that the really at the beginning one, we have two sites. One of them, Shayobabon, and the uh, other is Debrecen. Between these two sites, there is 150 kilometers differentiation, but the system is connected to each other. So we can see everything in just uh, in a discussion or in, um, in an analysis uh, uh, discussion in, uh, in site wide in, uh, in our production area. The batch tracking was not so easy in the past because everybody created their own Excel tables to try to compare it and synchronizing. So when was the batch started, go to the field, go look in the paper and then look after that when was the batch started. Now everything is automatized with these functions. So and the user can get the data what they need. What is the future opportunities? Uh, what would like to do in the future? Batch reporting based on the RT reports. I don't know, nobody knows about the RT reports, but I just get the demo RT report just as was mentioned in Chanad, like it was in Pi server. I installed it. Really, it was only a little bit longer than the Pi server installation because it's a, a little bit tricky one, but it was half a day, so it was okay. Uh, I had two messages for that one. I shared with the Pi guys, uh, with the OSISoft guys also. He did it in the next week and it was successful, so it's not too much uh, investigation needed for the RT reports installations. And we hope that RT reports can support me and much more reporting information in the process. We would like to introduce more data sources, so not 2000, it's not enough. We have to extend it because we have more information, or we have to extend for the utilities, we have to extend for the for the safety and so on. So we would like to involve more and more data for processes. We would like to extend also the, the client's number because the clients know we have only 10, but uh, it seems to us that uh, we need more because the other guys are also interested in how we can use these informations. As I mentioned, the mesh integration also our targets. And of course, it was mentioned that um, the technology transfer is uh, it's also supporting this system. We would like to introduce it because not only in Hungary, but in the side side, the side wide also in Teva, inside the Teva, we are transferring the technologies and we would like to improve, like uh, supporting this information by Pi. Some conclusions. So we provide an easy tool for the comparing the analyze, analyzing the batches. It's, it's really true was. Uh, it was a fast, rapid, uh, cost-effective approach to capturing the key process data. It was mentioned that, uh, which is critical for the analysis we are just supporting to the operators. It was a business challenge for us. Uh, the solution was the Pi system with batch functionality. Of course, the other also exists now. And uh, we are hope that the result will be the less paperwork. It's not belongs to us only, but uh, for the QA, for the regulatory also, and other environments. We can focus on, on the process data and on the, uh, the time which uh, why we are um, collecting the information. Some optimization process is also needed and better information, better uh, equipment utilization is also important. Just we are continuing the work which was uh, a little bit interrupted by the third party because we standardized the information and they have developed especially the Simco online, it also was mentioned like here, uh, to applying uh, a new approach for the batch process controlling 
and I just we are introducing uh, with the standardized interface uh, this new tool. So it just is the discussions. I hope that we will finally find a way how we can continue and also we get a benefit from that one. This is my information. And if somebody has questions, please ask me. Thank you for your presentation. Um, I'm from Siemens, Evo Bux, and I'm surprised uh, to see that you copy over uh, some of our slides. Um, now, um, I'm wondering how you established the PAT as you positioned it uh, for closed-loop uh, close control and model predictive control on a bioreactor to go for real-time release using PI. The PI is used for the information collections and of course this interface for the systems, not the PI supporting for prediction of, uh, of process control. The U-Metrics environment is used multivariate controlling or model predictive control function is built in, uh, in, in this environment. I know the Siemens and I know that there's some slides from Siemens was that together we created one with Siemens one, but uh, as I remembered also we worked on the Siemens, the same situations. and. Um, so the U-metrics environment is doing the optimization and of course the, the predictions function for us. And uh, the just a new development from U-metrics, it's supporting that uh, it's running on uh, the multivariate uh, control functions based on the batch one. I don't want to go to the details, but I have some experts in U-metrics, uh, uh, they can explain it to you. And this is the, the functions which is used for, for batch controlling. Uh, for the closed loop. Of course, the first step would be the suggestion for the operation, please change the, the set point of that one on that one, and, and finally, if it is useful, we can do it automatized. Yeah, but on what uh, protocol is the interface to the uh, analyzers uh, based? Because uh, spectrometers tend to have very dedicated interfaces. And yes, but uh, I think it, I can mention here, we are using the Brooker NIR analyzer for processes. We are currently using uh, two different kind of interface, interface of Brooker one. One for the dedicated, it's a, it's a DLL function which is supporting the Brooker. The other is the OPC. The Brooker can support all the, the spectral parameters by the OPC communication, so OPC with Brooker. Hello, I'm uh, Johan van Acker from uh, Actemi in Belgium. Uh, why did you implement the batches and not use the uh, event frames? Because this is uh, the new technology. First of all, I, when I, I met Pi, I heard about the batch functionality. I didn't deal with the event frames. Uh, some function is not uh, supported with an event frames, as I know today. And the batch, much was, uh, batch uh, generator was much more easy to understand by, by me and to implement our processes. That's all what I selected first of all, the, the batch generator one. It I saw outside that there is some uh, transformations from red generator to the event frame. I don't know how we will do it, but the batch is just cleverly fitted our processes because it's S88 standard following the S88 standard. But I'm using event frame, it's not mentioned here because the presentation was prepared after that I tried it, the notifications. So I, I based on event frame, the notifications, I'm using the system. It's really useful. Thank you. Yeah. 